Shalom. Give all praise to Yahweh, by Shem, Yahweh Shai Rakak, Rakak Kwadash, double honor and great millstone, and the apostle, the elders, of, um, and the apostle elect. She's brought up four corners of earth. Um, you know, you know, out and about. Um, so, you know, uh, you know, having dialogue with the people and we was a one Jake. Well, I say you have a lot of Israelites that uh, rejecting is true. Many, uh, yes, few people aware uh, about the uh, Karama, and you have some that uh, don't care about uh, judgment, even the women. You know, they don't care. I don't care either, man. You know, you know, just eat a missile or go into the FEMA camps. You know, one Jake I seen on a bike called him over and and, and he riding a bicycle in circles and and then one of his one of his questions was he's gangster. So he said that it was uh no more for me to to speak on the subject of the matter to him. Cause I know um I know uh, the end result is going to be with him, you know. Uh, I, 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 it appeared to be one of five percenters and didn't realize it was another one beside me. And I said both of them was pretty aggressive. So, you know, me trying to Diffuse it and dismiss them. You know, they wanted to keep on uh, with the rhetoric and, uh, you know, I'm not the, the type to be going back and forth, going back and forth. Uh, because, uh, you know, a lot of times you had to take L's when you're dealing with ignorance, you know. And I'm going to go in 1 Timothy 5, verse 22. Lay hands suddenly on no man, neither be partakers of other man's sins. Keep thyself pure. You know, keep thyself pure. You know, they want to engage in something else. But be wise as a serpent and humble as a dove. Second Thessalonians chapter 3, verse 15. Yet count him not as an enemy, but admonish him as a brother. You know, uh, uh, my 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 job is not to to get cardinal um, uh, you know, be peaceable with all men if possible.
2 Thessalonians chapter 3, verse 11. For we hear that there are some which walk among you disorderly, working not at all, but are busybodies. You know, because my question was asked was, do they know what the mark of the beast is? They going to tell me, uh, I mean, just a fullery, uh, uh, of answers, but the answer, the answer they, the answer that the answer they wanted to hear, they couldn't accept. The answer they, the answer that they. The answer they heard, uh, what the karama is, they couldn't accept it. So, you know, they made up their mind, they're going to take the mark of the beast. And I'm not going to, I'm not going to argue, I'm not going to uh, argue with, uh, with this dumb, dumb degenerate out here. You know, the scripture says in uh, in the book of Ezekiel, uh, chapter 2, verse 7, And thou shalt speak my words unto them, whether they will hear or whether they will forbear, for they are most rebellious. So, uh, uh, so, uh, since they want to, uh, uh, talk over my speech and everything, okay, fine. I, I don't, uh, I don't want to continue, uh, with you, what they don't want to believe in. I say, you know, if they accept it, good. If they reject it, it's also good. Because uh, I'm just working on my own salvation. You can't, can't beg, you can't beg these people. Because the only thing you're going to do is uh, wax worse. You give, them, you give them the scripture and they rebel, keep it moving. Uh, get one more scripture. Titus chapter 3, verse 3. For we ourselves also were some, sometime foolish, disobedient, deceiving, serving, diverse lust and pleasure, living in malice and envy, hateful and hating one another. You know, uh, you had the remnant of Israel or not like these two thirds. All right. They go on the, the direction the most high wants them to go. These two thirds born the direction Satan wants them to go. So, uh, I'm going to end this video, and I say, uh, we got next. See you again to the next time. Say shalom.